Hey, it's Lloyd Lofton with another episode of Power Behind the Sales. I was working with a call center on Wednesday, and two things happened that I found shocking and interesting. And one of them is when I went through their scripts, they were talking about them. They were saying, I want to help you. I can get you a better price. I can get you a better product. I want to make sure you're taken care of. In fact, when I went through their script, I noticed that they said, I are we, our company, I are we, eight, 13 times. They only talked about the prospect five times. Here's a question I ask them, and I'm going to ask you this question. Who is the sales presentation about? Who's the script about? In fact, who should it be about? It should be, I'm hoping you're saying, it's about the prospect. But in your script, if you say, I, 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 you're not talking about them. You're talking about you. The second thing they did that I had to point out to them is when they talk about savings, they're missing the statistics. 70% of people make a buying decision to solve a problem. Only 30% make a buying decision to gain something. So when you talk about saving them, whatever it is, 5, 15%, you're talking to 30% of the buyers. You need to craft a message that throws a wider net out there and pulls people in, doesn't rule them out. So the question isn't, I mean, the statement is that I can save you 15% or 5% or whatever it is. The question is, if you are able to free up 5 or 15% of the money you're spending anyway, how would that impact your business? How would that impact your life? What would you be able to do differently with that money? And after they answer that question, your response is, well, let me ask you this. When did you want to start saving that money? When did you want to start freeing up that that 15%. Because that's when people come back and tell you, now, I want to do it now. So when should you start using this question? Now. All right. Make your comments below. Let me know the questions you ask that you get stumped with the most. Make sure you subscribe to this video. Click the little alarm clock there and you'll get notified every time we put a video up. You, we got some changes coming to our YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing some YouTube live videos. So make sure you watch for those coming out and connect with me on LinkedIn. Talk to you on the next video.